Hello, I'm Matt Henning. I'm an automation specialist at Van Meter, based out of Davenport, Iowa. And I'm here today to talk about the transition from the 140M motor protecting circuit breaker to the new 140MT circuit breakers. So the big change here is uh, the 140M was just older products, been around for quite a while. Um, with new changes in code standards, Rockwell has updated the line, so now we have better short circuit ratings, group ratings for motors, and uh, some other things like UL Type E protections. So with this change, it's important that customers are aware that this is coming to market. The 140Ms are discontinued already, so the remaining inventory is all that's left. Nice thing is, it's not a big change for most of our customers. It's fairly simple. Device does the same thing, has the same form, fit, and fashion. One thing to definitely remember is, if you are using accessories, the bus bars, auxiliary contacts, shunt trips, the previous generation will not work with the MTs, but Rockwell has you covered. Um, we have all those accessories with the new 140 MT line. So with the recent changes to code with group ratings and other things like that, the advantage of the 140 MT, it does have a tested rating with the 100K, 100C, and 100E contactors that you can print right off of Rockwell's website if you use the global SCCR tool. You can get that printout to hand to your UL inspector so you won't have any issues there. For the panel builders out there, a big concern is watts loss within your enclosure, the heat rise that you have to account for. One advantage of the MT product is it produces significantly less heat to add to your enclosure than the previous generation product. So if you haven't yet migrated and you'd like help with that transition, at Van Meter we have quite a few resources to help you out. We have our AST, you can call in to get help. We have automation specialists on staff that would be happy to go through that list for you. And if you have already transitioned to new products yet you still have questions, please give us a call or send us an email. We have plenty of automation specialists to help with those questions.